So for those of you that pretty much want to think about how you want to lay out the user interface for your end users, but you're not quite sure or you may want to make sure that you satisfy 100% of your end users by accommodating them and their needs, you want to look at the Doc Manager to help you lay out the UI in such a way that it will target the majority of your end users' requests, as well as allow your end users to customize the UI to whatever they want. And then you can also write code to persist that layout and then load it up again once they log in and out of their app. So to show you how easy it is to use the Doc Manager, have a form here with a couple of infragistics controls. I have a chart, a couple of gauges, and a wind grid thrown onto the form. So what you want to do is go into the Visual Studio toolbox, locate the NetAdvantage tools, and you want to find the Ultra Dock Manager. And right here, you double click on it, and once you get it onto the form, so this, this dialog basically just gives you some guidance on how to create panes and do a bunch of things, but for now we'll just dump the Dock Manager on the form. And there's a couple properties, or like one major property I like to set before I run anything, is I like to go to the drag indicator style. So drag indicator, you have you know Visual Studio 2005, 2008, and Vista. You can do that. Uh, you can also set the window style here as well. In Visual Studio 2008, and that's the one that we have there. And drag window style, and what you want to do is you could choose layered window with indicators. That one looks pretty nice. So these are just a couple of properties that we can set. So now the trick is you want to get various controls into the dock manager so that the dock manager will allow you to float them, move them, dock them, pin them, hide them, slide them in and out, and so forth. So to do that very easily, just select the controls by control clicking the various controls and create one big selection. And if you add controls later on, just click them again and do this, and right click and do the same thing that I'm about to do now. Right click on the control and select dock controls. And this will dock all of them. You could initially dock them to any one of these areas, but just click OK because if you don't like a certain layout, it's no problem. You can rearrange it yourself. So right now, I don't like this one here. I want to rip it off and float it. Notice because I set the various properties in the Visual Studio property window, I'm now getting the Visual Studio 2008 and above style docking indicators. See this little icon in the center of the screen? That's basically my Visual Studio docking style indicators. And it shows exactly where it's going to go. But the thing I want to show you that I think is wonderful is that you can create this dock layout right in the designer here without having to worry about code. Now, it's a little different if you're running, if you're loading controls up at runtime. It's, a little, it's definitely different to do it that way. But again, to get started and, and just infragisticize your existing application with the Doc Manager support, it's very easy. So just click on Run, and let's take a look at the results. And here's my form. I just had this layout that I've done real quick. So again, I could rip, the, rip these guys off, dock them, float them around, move it to another monitor if I had another monitor. Now, I have my grid here, and see what happens is, if you, if you wanted to, there's a way that you can um, set this up so that when you drag control to the center of this, it will become a form. So there's a property to do that, but you, know, you can also leave it the way it is right here. So again, you could create tab groups, or you could stack a bunch of controls on top of the other, then treat them as one grouping. So right here, I could dump that one there. And then when I rip this off, I moved all of those controls together. If I had another monitor, I could just zoom it over to another monitor. So then you can just you know, create tabs and different types of arrangements here to satisfy whatever view you're into. So that's pretty much how easy it is. And you know what? Let me show you this real quick. I won't actually write the code, but just to show you how it works. UltraDocManager.load. Binary or load from XML method you want to use. And you give it a file name or you can give it a stream object. So that's what you use to load the persisted medium. That can be layout information. And how do you save that? Well, you call the opposite. You save as binary or as XML. Binary is basically binary formatted stream or file. 
and XML is XML formatted stream or file. You save first, you save it, and then later on you load it, and that's basically how you persist and load end user customizations to your application. So again, this is how easy it is to add Doc Manager support to your Windows Forms apps. So if you're not using this, or if you don't have any kind of end user customization, just keep in mind that applications that allow end user customizations to the UI are accepted more because end users will always try to arrange things so that it'll be more useful to them. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.